Heather made me breakfast. Thank you. Good morning, or afternoon, I guess, at this point. We are on our way to a 4th of July barbecue at my mom's cousin's house, so I guess she would be my second cousin. Anyway, so we're going to her house for a barbecue slash birthday party for her daughter, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. Lover Lips is driving. I make him drive when we go places because I hate driving, so I don't have to drive if he comes. It's quite nice. I forgot to mention that I really love sloths. And I really want to go to the sloth sanctuary in Costa Rica and you get hang out with sloths all the time so I guess apparently my grandma found this out at some point I don't know I don't remember ever telling her anything about any sloths but regardless she bought me this really cool sloth shirt it says live slow she always buys cool presents for me that I probably didn't appreciate when I was a kid but I appreciate them now so thanks We were just having a conversation about being buried or being cremated. First he said he doesn't want to be cremated because the idea of being burned is creepy, even though you're dead. But then decided that if reincarnation was in fact real, then he would need to be cremated so that he could reincarnate into a non-broken body. I don't know if I would like to be cremated or buried either. So I said I would like to donate my body to the body farm so that I could help people and advance forensics. What do you think? So another conversation, birthmarks. Randy seems to think, or he read somewhere, I don't really know, that... I think it was Ancient Aliens. Ancient Aliens. If you guys don't watch Ancient Aliens, you Love should watch it. it because it is amazing and it really makes you think about things. Like, seriously. Anyways, where did you hear about it? Say what you heard. So I think if you have a birthmark, they say that might be how you died in your previous life. So where's your birthmark? Right on my forehead. So I guess I could have gotten shot in the head or a spike through the head or an arrow or something. I don't know. So my birthmark is actually on the back of my, well it's not really my neck either. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's in the shape of a butterfly so it's actually kind of cool. But, so I guess if that were true, I probably maybe could have been beheaded. So I told Lever maybe I was Anne Boleyn in another life. Which kind of sucks I guess to get beheaded but anyway. So then I said, well, it's very curious because both of my girls, well, neither one of them have a birthmark at all. They have none, no birthmarks. So Randy said that means they must be new souls. I don't know. Although Rylan, I think we're pretty sure that Rylan is definitely a former world leader because she's very bossy. So bossy. She is very bossy. So, I'm not sure if that's really a good thing or a bad thing. But we think they're both new souls. Because they have no birthmark. I don't know. Okay, so, since we've had these... Oh, philosophical. Philosophical, that's a good word. Philosophical conversations on our drive to the barbecue. You should write what you think in the comments. About birthmarks, reincarnation, cremation or burial, or donation to science, whatever you prefer. Just because, you know, it's something interesting. Something interesting to think about. Okay, we're almost here. I'm super excited because I really have to pee.
we're tired. And it's pouring outside, see? It's Florida weather, nothing like it. Oh, and forgot to mention, I guess Rylan watched our vlog from yesterday, you know, because she went to my mom's to stay. So she was really mad at us because we went to the movies without her. And she was confused as to why we went and saw Transformers because we could watch that at home. Because she watches Transformers on Netflix. Rescue Box and I don't know this other Transformers thing that she watches all the time. But So she wasn't very pleased with us about going to movies without her, but I think she got over it fairly quick. your blog and I've been blogging all day. Vlogging, I mean. Not to be confused with flogging, like my grandmother said. There's no vloggers here. We might watch Jaws later, so it'll be Randy's first time watching Jaws the whole way through. Delicious things. There's Rusty. He's not as excited as usual. Hey, buddy. Tomorrow. Heather stole my vlog. <laughs>